everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we are gonna go through another three-day progression. Steve-O, we looked at his discus about a week ago, and now we're gonna compare his shot put, and you're gonna see this is one of the challenges that you get when you're throwing the rotational shot in the discus. You gotta understand how to change your rhythm and understand the key technical differences. But in today's video, we are gonna look at Steve-O's technique from day one to day three, and then look at a comparison of the progress and then what we're gonna be focusing on after he leaves. Day one one, like anything else, is our technical day. Like we're assessing and evaluating what's he doing, where's his movement. So kind of letting him do his thing and giving him some cues. Now I've worked with Steve-O since he was a young guy, since he was actually in the eighth grade, and now he's going into his third year in college. Okay, so the first thing again, we look at Steve-O's stand throw, one of the things he's doing, how, how's the shot coming out of his hand, where's his positions. We went through a half turn and then we went through his full turn and we were kind of evaluating where he was, right? What's he doing? What do we have to change? And that's it. So it's this mix of letting him do his thing and then pointing out and giving him cues because this is what we do with the throwing chain reaction system. We're trying to look at, do we have a systemic issue? Meaning, do we see something throughout all the pillars or do we have just pillar specific issues that we need to address? Go get around. Ooh, Ooh that was pretty solid. That didn't look bad. Now we're gonna be more thinking, we're gonna break things down, it's gonna be mechanical in nature. So this is what we always talk about. In our system, there's a combination of mechanical days and rhythmical days. You wanna have days where you're thinking and you're moving and you're thinking about every little detail because we're breaking that down in the parts. Here we're kind of explaining how you open the arm in the delivery versus not. We're teaching them how to create more motion and more push and punch into the throw. So you can see I'm kind of stopping them, I'm making them move slower, and that's gonna be the real key here to find and field positions. That was a better throw. Now what we're starting to see is as we correct different things, we're seeing what he needs to work on. And now when we go into our day three, he's clear on the concepts. He's felt some things from day two. So what we're gonna be doing is making those key adjustments so that he understands those key things from the day before, but we're gonna let it go again. And we're gonna let him feel some timing and some rhythm. We're gonna let him speed it up slightly. We're just keeping the percentage around 80%. And you can see right now, he's starting to take the shot out. We've adjusted his start, pillar one, his chain reaction. That's gonna be one of the big keys and as that fixes you start to see the technical pattern the mechanical systemic issue that he's having in his throw so one of the things we address is his rewrap his sweep leg path and so that was all having an influence from his pillar one and two so you can see here steve-o gets kind of fired up and he's feeling it and the positions are feeling good around and in Woo! Yeah! that was oh, much better, better. Man, that was nice and nice and smooth that was much better so when we look at day one, what you were looking at, there's some slight subtle differences here of where his hips are in relation to his upper body and he was leaning everything too far forward into the throw. So you can see how in day one and day two, he's kind of pulling back. By day three, we're squaring up and he's taking the throw out. So you can see that his rewrap is much better as we go into day three because we changed his balance points, which are enabling that to happen a lot easier. You see how he's taking a throw, it's coming off, he's slowing it down. You're gonna see a big change here as he comes through and now he's much more on point and he's much more balanced and that's enabling him to come through so again taking a look at day one you see kind of how he was pulling down and pulling away and that was what we wanted to address so we're seeing him get real vertical and so by day two we're teaching him how to be a little bit more connected to the ground he's thinking again it's more mechanical but by day three we're putting it together he's starting to feel it he's starting to understand the changes and you can see how he came through the throw much more balanced and that's how you're going to get your result. Hopefully kind of going in and seeing how you would approach multiple days of training to have you understand that you can't just come out and be throwing 100 miles an hour. So you have to understand though that you're going to have times where you're trying to be mechanical and you can't have big expectations on distance, but you want to start paying attention to how those mechanical changes start to feel. You're also going to usually see that when you start to make those mechanical changes, you're going to start feeling different things and you want to feel more connection and more power. So then by then you want to 
have that shift like we talked about on the third day where we're putting it all together and we're feeling that smooth rhythm, the balance is better, the connection's better, and now we know exactly what to work on moving forward. And that's what we cover step-by-step step inside the Throwing Chain Reaction system. And that is what we keep showing you, how we're getting results in a matter of just a couple of days. And it's those subtleties day in and day out that create the big distances and the big jumps. So what might feel slow is actually the fastest way to big results. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you found some good value in today's video. If you're watching all the way here to the end, we really appreciate it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, comment below and any other things or any questions you have, and we will see you on the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into what we do with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. If you would like to learn more about how to structure your practices and find the things that help unlock your potential, click the link below and we will see you on the next video.